Hey guys! Jeez, crazy weather out there. Anyways, how are- Did- Did something happen? And after Manny put out the fires, Louis just took off? That's basically what happened. I can't believe it. That just doesn't seem like something Louis would do. Daniel, you were there. Did Jack leave anything out? Just this. Uh, oh! Still, I don't get it. Louis has a bad temper, sure, but it's not like he got upset over nothing, right? I... I think this is my fault. It must have been. What do you mean? Wait a sec. You weren't teasing Louis, were you? No, no, it was nothing like that. Hmm... I don't really remember anything from a conversation that would have been taken as offensive, do you? We were just talking, Brooke told one of his skull jokes, and before anyone knew it, Louis lost it. Hold on. You don't think... Uh, sure your skull jokes are... interesting, but they're harmless. Louis knows that, right? I wonder... Was that what upset him? What was the joke about? I get that it was a skull joke, but what else was it about? Uh, well, let's see. How did it go again? Earlier. And around midnight is when you can see the bats fly across the moon. I don't know how you can stand to be such near such scary creatures. All bats remind me of is how spooky caves can be. All those creatures, cave spikes and darkness, just thinking about it makes my skin crawl. Well, that is, if I had any skin. <laughs> oh, speaking of caves, have I ever told you the time? Shut up, Brooke. I don't think he's ever gotten that upset over one of my jokes. Or was it something I, else I said? Dear me, I wish I knew. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself, Brooke. None of us knew Lewis would react the way he did. So, any idea where Lewis might have gone off to? No, but I doubt he'd be somewhere far away. That does it. I can't take this anymore. Where are you going, Manny? I'm gonna go look for Lewis. I don't want this drama dragging out any longer than it has to be. What? what? H hold on, Manny. Maybe we should give Lewis some space. You know, to cool off and such. You're in my way. Besides, it's still raining. Thanks for the forecast. Uh, Manny, wait! What are you so nervous about? Lewis may be mad at me, but I don't want him to get mad at you, too. Huh? Manny, I can't thank you enough for coming to our aid and saving my afro from catching fire to the point. My point is, Lewis can still be just as angry as he was before he left. What if... What if he hurts you? Like what happened to Daniel, but worse. He won't hurt me. How can- If it were anyone else, I'd probably take your word for it. But this is Lewis we're talking about. I'll be fine. If you're still worried that Lewis will attack the moment he sees you, then why don't you stay put? But- But- I won't be long. <sighs> you know, huh? If you're gonna be out here feeling sorry for yourself, at least you could be sensible about it. Why are you here? Decided I wanted to take a nice stroll through the rain. Also find out where you slipped off to. Manny, I... I'm so sorry. I... I know I shouldn't have acted like that. It's just... What Brooke was joking about. I didn't find it funny. And then he had to keep going on and on about the damn caves and... It's just... There's just some things I'm not ready to talk about yet. You guys know that, right? Not really. None of us are entirely sure what and won't set you off. Wait, you don't know? Have you not been paying any attention to the conversations you have with your friends? For as long as any of us known you, you never once mentioned the things that are sore spot for you. We're not mind readers, Louis. If you ever bring up any of the topics you find in bad taste, 
And don't be so surprised that none of us knew joking about those things would upset you. I... I never mentioned any of that stuff? Not even once? You love dodging questions and changing subjects on a dime, kid. I lost track of which subjects you do that the most. Then... then that means... Oh, God. Then everyone must think I get mad for the sake of being mad! You must think I'm a huge jerk! I don't know if they think of you like that. Manny, what am I going to do? You should know that by now. I can't just walk in there and expect Brooke to stick around long enough for me to apologize. What if he's not even there? What if he never forgives me? Damn it! Why did I have to lose my temper like I did? <sighs> Alright, calm down. Here's what you should do. Start with either your right foot or your left foot, march back to the cafe, and apologize. Maybe he'll forgive you, maybe he won't. You're not going to find out if you dodge this conversation, too. Well, I'm tired of sitting around here and doing nothing. But Manny said he wouldn't be long. Yeah, Jack. We should just wait a little longer. For how much longer? It's already been a few hours now. Manny will be back before you know it. I'm sure of it. Miss me already? Manny! Welcome back, L Louis! Uh... <sighs> L Lewis, um, I know I said something that might have upset you, but if you would... I'm sorry. Huh? Brooke, I... I'm so sorry I lashed out at you. What's even worse is that I lost my cool over what has might as well been over nothing. At least to you guys, anyway. There's a lot of things I don't feel I'm ready to talk about yet. One of those things being the conversation we were having before this whole mess happened. I didn't like what you were joking about, but that doesn't excuse how I treated you. I'm sorry. Uh... Don't rob me for my chance to apologize! Huh? huh? Your past is none of our business. Whatever you feel like talking about it is your choice. But in the meantime, I should have been more careful about what I said around you. So please, accept my apology. You? But I was the one who lost my temper. I was being insensitive. It's my fault. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I... I... You... <laughs> it's kind of silly, huh? This whole thing is so weird. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm really sorry about this whole mess, bro. Are we still cool? Chill to the bone. Well, I'm glad that resolved itself. I'll say. Here, what's all that for, Manny? Don't play dumb. Part of the cafe is a mess because of the ruckus you two payasos started. As long as you two are patching things up, you could patch up the cafe while you're at it. What? You completely killed the moment, Manny! I think I'm gonna start heading home. You guys wanna tag along? Your offer is very tempting.